Hello, back again. This time I'm going to be showing you how to install LED on a uh, Linsky router. I've got a 1900 ACS version 1. So the first thing you want to do is go to the LED website to download the open, open source firmware. I'll put a link in the description for the website. The thing you can do is just scroll down to find your router or you can just type in your brand and your model. I'll just uh, scroll through them so you can see all the different types of routers they support, which is uh, quite a few. So if I find L, I'm not too far now. Yeah, we're on the Linsky's. And I have got, hopefully I haven't gone past it. Here we go. I've got a Linsky WRT 1900 ACS a version one. I would check in their forums because there is a note saying if you've got a V2, it's saying it needs a newer Wi-Fi driver. So I would check in their forums to make sure it actually works on a V2. But I've got a V1 which I know works. Right, so the thing here, you want to uh, use the first link because the second one, I'll just scroll over. You use the second link if you've already already got LED installed and that's to do an upgrade. So the one you want is the first one, which says at the bottom, factory image. So I'll just click that and download it. I'll put it to my downloads. Doesn't take to, uh, too long to download. Right, that's done. Now what we want to do is log into the router, which is, as always with Linsky, it's one... 92.168.1.1 I'll just close that bar down the bottom and just log into the into your router with your password and in router settings you want to go to connectivity And here's where you can update your firmware. The one you want is manual. And then go choose a file. And then go into your downloads or wherever you saved the uh, LED firmware. Just double click on it and then click start and it will start installing the firmware. Just click yes. Doesn't take too long to do. and then just click OK. Should only take about 30 seconds to a minute what, uh, so everything's installed and set up to run for the first time. And then you can uh, start inputting all your settings for your interfaces and uh, your Wi-Fi to uh, get connected. Right, the thing you can do now is just go back to 192.168.1.1 in your address bar. Just click enter again. And now you'll get LEDE come up. The thing you want to do on the first time you run it is just leave as is. Just click login because you're going to set up the password on this page now. So up the top it says no password set. So all you want to do is click on go to password configuration. So just click that link. And now this is where you set up your password for your router. I'll just set up mine. And then just scroll down to the bottom and click save and apply. And it says at the top, password successfully changed. Right, the thing we want to do now is set up your network. So I'm going to go into interfaces. And if like me, I use uh, TalkTalk, Talk, which is uh, ADSL. So you want the WAN, which is Ethernet 1. 
And on the right here, you've got edit. And on the first page, you've got protocols or protocol. And in the drop down, you want to change this to PPPOE. And then you want to click switch protocol. And now you want to enter in your username. And I'm just going to paste in my password. And then all you want to do is click save and apply. Thing you can also do if you want to uh, change your DNS over to say Open DNS or Google DNS. On the WAN again, click Edit again, and then go Advanced Settings. I'll just scroll down a little bit, and you'll see here it says Use DNS Servers Advertised by Peer. So that's using your ISP's DNS. So you untick it, and you can enter in say Open DNS Servers. So enter in the first one. Then at the end, just click that and it will give the option to enter in the second line for say Open DNS or Google DNS, entirely up to you. If you want to use them and if you do change them, just scroll down to the bottom, click save and apply. I'm not, I'm just going to use my ISP's DNS. So the thing we'll do now, we will uh, set up the Wi-Fi. So if I go up to the top and you've got wireless. The top one is your 5 gigahertz network, so all you want to do on the right is click edit. In device configuration you can leave it as it is, so just scroll down to interface configuration. And in the ESID you can leave as LED or change it to any name you want to, that's the uh, name of your Wi-Fi. Everything else can be left as it is. But the thing you want to do, you want to click on the wireless security tab. And then in encryption. In the drop down, I normally use WPA2 PSK, so I'll just select that. And for Cypher, you can leave as auto, but I normally use false CCMP, so I'll just change to that. And then you want to enter in your Wi Fi key, so I'll just enter one in, and then just click save and apply. And then all you want to do on the right you want to enable it so I just click enable give it a few seconds to turn on and the Wi-Fi started on the 5 gigahertz network and now all we want to do is do the same for the 2.4 so on the right again we click edit and as you did in the 5 gigahertz network you can leave device configuration as it is but I'm just going to scroll down to interface configuration and in the ESID I'm going to change LED E to LED2 and then that way I know the difference between the 5 gigahertz network and the 2.4 everything else is going to be left the same in there and then I'm going to go back into wireless security again and in interface configuration I'm going to change encryption again to WPA2 PSK going to change the cipher to false CCMP and I'm just going to enter in my Wi-Fi key again and just click save and apply and that's all done and as we did in the first one you just want to click enable again give it a few seconds to start and now we've got both uh, Wi-Fi's working. So that's everything set up and uh, everything should be working. So as always, I uh, hope this video's helped and uh, goodbye.